true RMS diode capacitance and under 20 bucks. This one might be good. Hey, what's happening guys? You know I love my multimeters. This one's under $20. It has true RMS, AC, DC, amps, voltage, ohms, continuity, capacitance, frequency, diode, and non-contact voltage. It's under $20. It might be good. So what the heck? Let's have a look at the BM15D from Neotech. I got this from Amazon. It was um, eighteen ninety nine. Ah, thermocouple, excellent. You can pause and go over the specs at your leisure. It's kind of a, a, a mid-sized meter. Not as small as a like an NA8008, but not as big as what I would consider a full-size meter either. Hold on and let me show you. Now here's what I would consider a small meter. That's like the Aning 8008 size. And then there is a full size, so you can get an idea of the size of what we're dealing with here. Comes with a couple of, what are those, double A's? Where's the screwdriver? I just launched that screw to Mars. Alright, that's interesting. It takes three AAAs and comes with two. That ain't good. Let's find some more AAAs. Hold on. Oh, it does only take two. That one's a fake. No springs. Interesting. I don't like the fact that the uh, cover, the semi-rubber outer cover, goes over top of the back panel. That makes it somewhat difficult to remove it. Display looks nice and bright. Has off on both sides. That I like a lot. So while it comes with a set of cheapo probes, which say they are rated for a thousand volts max, we will be testing with the gold-plated Probe Master probes, as is our tradition here, because the Probe Masters are used on every multimeter we test. That way we eliminate that variable. We're only testing the meter, we're not testing the probes. All right, so I've got my uh, little calibration standard here. And let's start off with resistance, which should read about 179.5K. All right, went right up to megs. Press the range button. One eighty point three. It's close. I mean, really, it could be better. Let's check the capacitance. That's not capacitance. That is. We should get around fifty nine point seven seven nanofarads. Fifty nine point nine. That's actually quite good. 
All right, next up, we're going to test the voltage using this little voltage standard here. I'm guessing that's voltage. We'll find out. It should be 10 volts. And it is right on. 10 volts. Let's go to seven and a half volts. Seven point four nine. Five volts. Five point oh one and finally two and a half volts. Come on. I don't want to get on there. There we go. right on no worries there at all next we'll just test current all right my current standard is set for 20 milliamps so this is good for milliamps right here we'll put her on milliamps nineteen point eight three Let's go down to 10 milliamps. Nine point nine three, and we'll go down to one. One point point nine nine. Okay. Not too bad at all. So we take it down to uh, some microamps. There's 0.1 milliamp. Go to microamps. So it's not quite as accurate on the microamps. We're getting 122.1. Let's check the uh, AC voltage. It's in auto mode. Let's see what we can get. So obviously that's not working. It's defaulting to DC. Let's see what it says about AC. AC voltage up to 600 volts. True RMS Auto. All right, let's see what we get now. There we go. 123.7. Okay. What about the frequency? Overload protection up to 250 volts. So we should be able to read the 60 hertz frequency off my mains here as well. 
59.8. Pretty good so far. All right, let's check diodes. So let's see, function, diode check. Here's a standard silicon junction diode. Right about 0.6, what we'd expect. This is a shock key, should be around 0.2, 1.89, okay. Let's start with a red LED. You get about what 1.8, 1.7, 1.75, and the LED is lit. Here's yellow, 1.8, and it's lit. This is a blue, can't read it. And finally, a green, which is lit, but it's not giving us the forward voltage. Okay. So, my impression so far is it's okay. But just okay. I'm not impressed. Um, the only really redeeming factor I can say at this point is the price. It's under $20. I just looked up the prices for the uh, Anang 8008. Right now they seem to be around $26. I think we'd be better served spending the extra few dollars and going with the 8008. Let me get this condom off of here. I mean, so far, it's, it's just okay. The resolution isn't great. The accuracy is okay. The one redeeming quality is, you know, if you've only got 20 bucks to spend on a meter, it's a $20 meter. Let's see what she looks like inside. Wow. Absolutely minuscule fuses. A couple of diodes for protection. Some MELF resistors. Yeah. I'm going to have to go thumbs down on this one. It's just... Uh, it's just not worth it. So, I, I just can't recommend the BM15D multimeter. Even at that low price, there are better options out there. Save your money. Don't buy this one. Alright? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. And hey, if you get a chance, check out my friends at CyberCityCircuits.com. They've got subscription boxes, tools, and they make PC boards. So check them out. There's the website. All right? That's it. I'm out. Peace.